So a stem cell is a cell that when it divides to give rise to two cells, on average one of them is just like the stem cell and the other one is starting to go down the road to make the cells that make up a tissue. The stem cell we first isolated, 1988, was the mouse blood forming stem cell. And then we went on to isolate the human blood forming stem cells three years later. They, we showed, can make blood, can be used instead of a bone marrow transplant, uh, and give back pure blood formation, regenerate the host for life. We transplanted through a company I co-founded over 70 patients who had cancer and for the first time on earth they got back instead of all the cells in the bone marrow or all the cells in what's called mobilized blood they got pure cancer-free stem cells and uh, at least for those phase early phase trials the outcomes were dramatic and better than giving back all of the cells they're robust you might say why do you need to go to embryonic stem cells if the adult stem cells are so great? No adult stem cell, like a blood-forming stem cell, can even become another stem cell that's closely related. So a blood-forming stem cell can't make the support cell for blood formation or bone or brain or muscle. An embryonic stem cell is a cell that is, represents the stage of development after fertilization of the egg and before the group of 100 to 150 cells implants in the uterus. So that entity, the pre-implantation blastocyst, of which there are 400,000 or so in IVF, in vitro fertilization clinics, you take a cell out of the inside, there's only 20 or 30 of them, those cells have not begun to make any tissue but they have the possibility to make every tissue. They're marvelous cells to work with. They don't exist in the body but more than, say, half a day. Embryonic stem cells represent a stage of differentiation that is transient, only in the pre-implantation embryo. After it implants in the uterus and starts to make a real embryo, by three days after that, you can't go back to these very early so-called pluripotent stem cells, many potency stem cells. Embryonic stem cells, the ones that come from the inner cell mass, they make all of the cell types. So if you start with the beginning, an embryonic stem cell, and you end up in a dish with some blood, some brain cells, some hair, wouldn't that be nice, skin, fat. How cool is it that I get to do it? I think it's amazing. Not only do you get to make a discovery, you get to try to translate it to human health.